Diseases carried by ticks are on the rise. Some scientists predict this summer could be the worst tick season in years. From May to July, people will get more tick bites than any other time. More than 30,000 cases of Lyme disease are reported nationwide each year, but studies suggest the actual number is closer to 300,000. Ticks could also carry other serious illnesses. Our Dr. David Agus is in Los Angeles and joins us now. David, good morning. Good morning. So we mentioned ticks. We think Lyme disease right away. What are we looking for this season? Well, it's going to be a big one. You know, ticks follow certain patterns. And in this case, warm winter, two winters in a row. And also, it's a record acorn harvest. Acorns were a mice seed, and mice carry ticks. So with mice happy and running around, we're going to see more ticks this year, and we really have to beware. David, um, both of my in-laws have been diagnosed just recently with Lyme disease this year. Um, it's, it's a scary thing. It's, it, it's not a comfortable thing. It's also very difficult to figure out exactly what is wrong, though, right? No question about it. it it's a tough one. Um, you know, you're bitten by a tick. Sometimes there could be a rash and then headache and joint aches. The real problem is, is that most of the, or the one FDA-approved Lyme test doesn't really turn positive in most cases to four to six weeks afterwards, and not even in all cases does it turn positive. So it's really hard to diagnose this. So doctors are told, if you think Lyme disease, treat for Lyme disease. So Dr. Agus, fact or fiction, is there really a tick out there that creates this allergy to eating red meat? Oh, it's the wildest thing, is that it's really come up over the last decade and getting more common is there's a tick, it first bites a mouse or another uh, rodent, and then a protein called alpha-gal is there. When it injects you, that protein is seen by your immune system and creates an allergy to meat. So burgers and, ba burgers and bacon, hard this holiday season if you've bitten by this tick. Can it be reversed or is it permanent? Well, in many cases, it goes away on its own, medicines can treat it, or in some cases, it does stay there. But it's certainly something that we were taken by surprise, and we're slowly learning the mechanism and how to deal with it. So, David, kids running around the yard uh, today, tomorrow, all summer here, what are, what are we to do? Um, do is, it, is, it, uh, is it bug spray with DEET? No question about it. DEET works. You know, they're very similar to mosquitoes. Ticks smell you or sense your heat, and that's how they know where you are to grab on and bite you. Wear long sleeve cl clothing. Try to cut the grass short um, so the ticks can't hide there. It's going to be a big season. But, David, what if, what if you see it actually on your skin? I know people have found them before and aren't certain how to actually remove it. So how to remove it is you take a, a, a tweezers, you put it at the base right near where the head is, and you slowly and consistently pull upwards and try to get it out. If the head's stuck, mm -hmm. it's almost like a splinter and you got to dig it out. But the key is pull upwards and take it out. When your kids come in from playing outside, yeah. look them over, look for ticks, and then put your clothes in the dryer for 10 minutes and it'll kill the ticks, the heat of the dryer. And Lyme is sort of the most famous, but there are other diseases besides Lyme as well that ticks carry. No question. I mean, there are more and more of these diseases, and some of them can even be fatal, and some of them can have permanent neurologic deficits. So we're seeing diseases like Rocky Mounted Spina Fever, Powassan, which is the potential de uh, 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 deadly one, um, babesiosis, and lots of other ones. So ticks are a problem, and this is going to be a year where ticks really can have an impact on ours. Dr. David Agus, thank you very much, sir, and happy fourth. Thank you. Happy fourth, guys. Um, it's a scary thing. I mean, we're, yeah. we're, we're checking them not just once a day, but two Haircuts, or three times a day all over the place. Tubes yeah. in the garden. I've yeah. done everything. I'm terrified. Yeah. As you mentioned, parents. My, my mother got it as well. It's yeah. not just the kids that you have to worry about. Yeah. It's scary stuff.